Hi there, and a very warm welcome back to Sunny's Amazing and Strange Facts. Have you ever wondered what lurks beneath the surface of the seemingly endless ocean? A realm of perpetual darkness, bone-chilling cold and crushing pressure, the deep sea remains one of the planet's most mysterious and largely unexplored places. It's a world so extreme, so alien, that it feels more like a science fiction setting than a part of our own Earth. Yet beneath the waves lies a treasure trove of wonders waiting to be discovered. From the eerily beautiful bioluminescent jellyfish, casting a glow in the inky blackness, to the elusive giant squid, a creature of legends, the deep sea is a realm of the extraordinary. The deep sea, a world that defies our understanding of life as we know it, challenges us to rethink what is possible in the harshest of environments. A world teeming with life, in forms as mesmerizing as they are diverse. Now brace yourselves as we dive into the abyss and uncover the secrets of the underwater world. Our first stop, the twilight zone, a place where light begins to fade into darkness. Imagine a realm of perpetual dusk, where the sun's rays only just manage to penetrate. This is the twilight zone, also known as the mesopelagic zone, which stretches from 200 meters below the ocean's surface to about 1,000 meters down. This zone is a world of shadows, a place where the blue world above meets the black void below. Yet, despite the dimness, life thrives here, and it's anything but ordinary. The creatures that inhabit the twilight zone have adapted to the scarcity of light in the most extraordinary ways. Take the bioluminescent jellyfish, for instance. These ethereal beings light up the twilight zone with their self-produced glow. Bioluminescence, the ability to generate light through a chemical reaction within an organism, is a common trait among twilight zone dwellers. It's their way of making up for the lack of sunlight. But why do they need to light up in such darkness, you may ask? Well, the answer lies in the age-old tasks of survival, communication, and hunting. Some creatures use their light to lure prey, like a deep-sea anglerfish dangling a lighted lure to attract unsuspecting small fish. Others use bioluminescence to communicate, sending out coded flashes to find mates or deter predators. Yet the Twilight Zone is not merely a place of survival. It's a world filled with a sense of wonder and mystery, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. It's a reminder that even in the dimmest corners of our planet, life finds a way to shine. But hold your breath. Our journey has only just begun. As we descend further, the light fades away completely, and we enter the Midnight Zone. Welcome to the Midnight Zone, a world of complete darkness. This is a realm where the sun's light has long since faded, and the only illumination comes from the creatures who call this place home. It's a world of perpetual midnight, hence the name. Let's start our journey by meeting one of the most iconic inhabitants of the Midnight Zone, the Anglerfish. This creature stands out with its bioluminescent lure, an extension of its spine that dangles in front of its mouth. This glowing bait attracts unsuspecting prey, and when they get close enough, the anglerfish strikes with lightning speed. It's a survival technique that perfectly illustrates the saying, adapt or perish. Speaking of adaptation, let's talk about the viperfish. This creature is another fascinating resident of the midnight zone, its long, needle-like teeth and hinged lower jaw allow it to engulf prey in one swift motion. But what's even more intriguing is its light-producing organ called a photophore. This organ emits a blue or green light which is believed to lure prey and communicate with potential mates. But it's not just about attracting food or partners. Many of these creatures have adapted to survive the extreme conditions of the midnight zone. The high pressure, the freezing temperatures, and the complete absence of sunlight would be inhospitable to most life forms. But in the deep sea, life has found a way. These creatures have developed unique adaptations, like slow metabolisms to conserve energy and the ability to withstand great pressure. Life in the midnight zone is a constant battle for survival. It's a world that reminds us of the resilience and resourcefulness of nature. It's a testament to life's ability to adapt and thrive, even in the most challenging conditions. As we continue our descent, we arrive at the abyss, the deepest part of the ocean. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the wonders of the Midnight Zone, a world of darkness where life still finds a way to shine. Welcome to the abyss, a place where sunlight never reaches. Imagine a world so far removed from sunlight that it is forever shrouded in darkness. This is the abyss, the deepest part of the ocean where the pressure is so intense, it's 50 times greater than at sea level. Yet against all odds, life thrives here, in a realm that might as well be another planet. 
Take the giant squid, for instance. This creature of legend is no myth, but a very real inhabitant of the abyss. With eyes the size of dinner plates to catch even the faintest glimmer of light, it roams the depths, its long tentacles ready to ensnare unsuspecting prey. The giant squid embodies the mystery and the marvel of the abyss, a creature so elusive it was only recently captured on film for the first time. Then there's the goblin shark, another resident of the abyss. With its long, protruding snout and sharp nail-like teeth, it might not win any beauty contests, but it's perfectly adapted to the harsh conditions of the abyss. Its jaws can extend to catch prey, and its pink coloration helps it blend into the dark surroundings. These creatures, and many more, have adapted in remarkable ways to survive in the abyss. They've developed unique biological traits, like bioluminescence to attract prey or mates, and they've evolved to withstand the immense pressure and freezing temperatures. But the abyss isn't just about the creatures that inhabit it, it's about the unknown. It's about the vast, unexplored territory that lies beneath us, holding secrets waiting to be discovered. It's about the endless possibilities of what we might find, and the insights we could gain about life on Earth, and perhaps, life beyond it. This concludes our journey to the deep sea, a world as mysterious as it is beautiful. It's a world that challenges our understanding of life and survival, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can imagine. It's a world that reminds us that no matter how far we venture into the cosmos, there are still wonders to be discovered right here on our own planet. The deep sea is a world of darkness, cold and high pressure, yet life thrives in this harsh environment. A place where the sun's rays cannot penetrate, it is home to some of the most incredible creatures our planet has to offer. From the ethereal bioluminescent jellyfish, casting their own glow amidst the abyss, to the elusive giant squid, a creature of myths and legends, the deep sea is a treasure trove of biodiversity. The exploration of these unseen depths provides us invaluable insights into life's resilience and adaptability. Each discovery, each new species we uncover, is a testament to the boundless potential of life on Earth. But our journey doesn't stop here. There's still so much to learn, so many secrets to uncover, it's also crucial that we strive to protect these fragile ecosystems, these creatures that have adapted to survive in the most challenging of conditions. The ocean's depths remain a mystery, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. Who knows what other secrets it holds waiting to be discovered? Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content, just like this. And remember to hit the like button. And while you're here, why not share this video with your friends? Anyway, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.